Welcome to Steelfest 2017. Here we have a special guest. Bam baptism. 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 All right. First of all, tell to the audience who you are and why you are here. My name is Thomas. I play guitar in baptism and uh, well, my main reason being here was seeing Peste Noir playing live. So what does that mean to you? I mean, see Peste Noir and playing a gig in Steelfest. Is this something out of ordinary or just usual business? Uh, Steelfest has been, uh, well, it's a kind of like uh, many years has been like uh, after when we had Hammer Open Air, which was like one of the best festivals ever. Still was, has taken its place very good, always a good lineup. And this year, for me, like uh, personally, Peste Noir was the highlight. So it was a second reason coming over here? No, it was the main reason. All right. I actually could have cancelled my own playing. Like, uh, I could have skipped, left my guitar at home just to see Peste Noir. That's quite a statement. Uh, what does make it so special to you? The music which they make, it is a different kind of music that uh, I ever like heard before, and a kind of a new wave of uh, new way of doing uh, black metal music with the lyrics, everything which is like uh, <clears throat> everybody is saying that it's like uh, kind of uh, they are Nazis and blah blah blah. No, it's like. Uh, all of the lyrics are about like uh, the poems of uh, like France poetics. Kind of like a national romanticism. Kind of, yeah. And it's but still, you always like uh, remember the skinheads who are like saying that it's like this. Everything is like national romanticism. Who cannot even read or something, but it's complete making the like it should be that kind of like statement and doing the music and uh, the riffs which you by the way said that it's like uh, they are so fucking weird I, I don't understand what they are playing but then again you're a weird person with a very unconventional yeah. taste can we agree on that we can agree about that but it's like uh, even the melodic wise it is like it really like catch my ear every time they are doing all right, you had your own show earlier this afternoon, um, and you said before the in we started the interview that it was uh, one of the best shows recently. Am I right? Yeah. It what is. made it so special? It was like uh, we've been thinking about it's like only thirty minutes of playing, but then again, like trying to think, what songs can you fit in thirty minutes? All the baptism songs are usually six minutes seven minutes so it's like three or four songs which you can fit that kind of like uh, but then again made the best of out it we only had like two rehearsals but then got the best out of it which we had it today you've grown uh, more and more kind of more atmospheric even soft uh, melodic sides uh, towards, I mean, in your career and towards getting older. Mm -hmm. Is this something totally intentional, getting even uh, more smoother, getting m more melodic, more atmospheric stuff? Or is it is this just some um, natural to happen without no boundaries set? Kind of. Uh, I think it's, uh, I cannot really answer because I'm not uh, composing the songs. It is like, uh, well, nowadays, my brother is also composing with, with Lord Sarkov again. But it's always been like, uh, well, none of us is uh, are strict, like, we only listen to black metal or death metal. I don't, none of us gives shit about that. Do we listen metal? We listen every kind of good song is a good song. So it just like, of course, everything which you hear around you affects the song which you are composing and probably it's uh, with Lord Sarkov again also like everything which he is hearing when he's like driving to work or something and affects and it's no like uh, 
for example, him is a band which we share almost, I, I'm not actually sure that we all share, but at least me and Lord Sarkovakian share. They made one of the best song ever. Which is it? Him. I mean the song. No, no, no. As a band wise, there's all the albums are very good. Okay. Uh, so, uh, Baptism is kind of seen like as a Lord Sargo Fagin's band the most, and you others being more on the side members or lower tier. Do you agree on this statement or is it totally false? No, it's not. It's uh, He makes <laughs> most of the stuff on the latest albums. It is like uh, in Finnish, Alar Ho, my brother, and uh, the guitar player uh, Thomas, they are making a lot of uh, stuff also together with Lord Sarkov again. Usually I don't like, uh, I only make the keyboards and clean vocals and when the album is kind of ready. And it is, well, when hearing the product which they are making together or he is making by himself, there's no need to like uh, just add a little bit of uh, like some notes or something to that because he's like uh, talent up in the ear is like perfection in my own sense. Okay, what about lyrics? Uh, do you all read through them? Yes. Or do you re also um, have to agree on them or is it just like the mastermind making his final statement or how does it go? It is like uh, Many of the times it is Ossi and uh, Ossi makes uh, Lord Sarkov again makes the lyrics uh, with uh, there's a lot of uh, at least on the uh, like later albums there's also uh, Johannes Nefastos which is like uh, the leader of Asasilin Tähti and uh, of course I I never would play or uh, kind of uh, make music together some kind of ideal which I wouldn't agree so we at least I go through them I can I never do they want to any of the other people do they want to go through the lyrics but I go through them and everything is like uh, for me I share the same heart with every of the like word which is in baptism okay so you, per, as a person, you do a lot of bands. You have uh, very many active bands, which are more or less touring, doing albums and stuff. How do you manage to divide your time and effort among all these? And are there much contradictions, like gigs at the same time, or how does it go? Well, I had to make a decision, like uh, this year, I quit Turmir Katerat because my heart is on the black metal side. Even though I love like doing, well, it is to the open crowd. It's I. I will say I hate metal. It is if somebody comes to say to me that you are metalhead also. No, I'm not. It's not good song. Is a good song. It doesn't matter which style song it is. And it was like uh, it was hard decision for me. But then again, taking the side. It was quite easy, like taking it. If it's like uh, choosing black metal or the other stuff, I'm always on the black metal side, which is, has been like since I was 13 years old. Fair enough. Uh, we earlier talked about Peste Noir and uh, these uh, political sides, you know, creating a sort of waves in these kind of festivals and stuff. There are religious groups. Uh, and there are anti-fi anti -fi kind of groups which are trying to kind of stop these kind of uh, festivals and gigs happening. Do you often face these kind of groups and affiliations trying to, you know, stop you or slow you down? Yeah, uh, with Horna we had many cancellations, even though it's like always point out a word which Horna is like a right wing band or something. This very special question came before me from the, let's put it this way, from the background. Uh, 
out, out from zero being n n uh, not Nazi at all, yeah. and 88 being the maximum Adolf Hitler <laughs> Nazi, how how would how Nazi would uh, baptism or Horna be? Well, for my belief, with uh, baptism minus a thousand, because it's like purely like always been towards Satan, and uh, I think with Horna at zero, because all the rigs are towards Satan. So there is no this kind of stuff that people claim there to be? Yeah, it is. Well, we might have some political views, like uh, by our heart. Personal. Yeah, but it's towards the music. In the music there's nothing, because the only thing we do is always towards Satan. Nothing else. Where do you think these kind of um, accusations come from then? I remember one interview from uh, past, it was I think year 2008 or something. Uh, Shatrak was answering the like questionnaire and they were asking that, what are your views of Nazi Germany? And Mille is like, I'm not condemning it. It is like a war happens, people get killed, and it's like the war machine keeps going. It's of course you are Nazi because you don't condemn. So if you take a shit, you are full of yeah. shit. You are full of shit. Yeah. Talking about shit, you have a, had this a very, very uh, curious uh, habit of putting your fingers sometimes in the other people's assholes and then making the people at least smell or even taste it. What is this all about? GG Allen. Is this your tribute to him? Kind of, yes. But it's, uh, well, that's not the only part. It's like, uh, <laughs> well, I only do it for the good friends. Exactly. Yeah. Not like people I don't know. Yeah, so don't be afraid. He's not going to uh, uh, suddenly surprise finger you. Well, you never know if you get become too good friends with him. But it's like, uh, uh, for a long time, I kind of uh, watching around people like uh, getting like uh, farther and farther away about like uh, and that is like uh, the extreme way of like touching people yeah, but still yeah, yeah but still people are like uh, like uh, they are afraid of like normal like having touching. yeah getting and, too close yeah and why we are like friends we are we known each other like many, many, many years. Should we hug? Of course. Friendly black metal hug. You don't get to see this too often. So, any final words before we let you out go boozing and fooling around or doing your stuff? I'm not going to fool around today. Why not? I'm going to Iceland. Why the fuck? Because uh, I love my girlfriend. Oh, that is so cute. <laughs> so. What are the regards uh, to audience uh, considering baptism and the near future? Any tours, gigs or anything else on the news that people should know of? I don't know, but hopefully some, uh, some tour at some point, some new stuff is coming, but never know when it's coming. All right, so the last question will be, what do you think of Satan? What do you... <laughs> A curveball. Yeah. Well, for me, he is the or she is the master. I don't even know the gender of it. Now you are getting uh, to the new direction. Now they have this uh, gender. Uh, I cannot <laughs> answer that kind of curveball. Do, do we do we need a unisex toilet for Satan worshippers? No. no. That is a good moment to conclude this very odd interview. <laughs> I hope you the very best and you audience stay tuned for more stuff to come. See ya.